there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's good to have you. Thank you very much for stopping by. We have a game to play today. It is Lox Quest from THQ Nordic. They have been lucky, happy enough, pleasant enough to actually provide me with a key for this. We've got a series of THQ Nordic games that come out over the next while. I uh, hope you actually will be looking forward to seeing some of them because of an old Humble Bundle that they did. I'm intending to give away a copy of the THQ Nordic Humble Bundle from about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Uh, be meaning to get around to giving it out. So this is like the first announcement. This is a giveaway on the channel. If you want to win yourself a copy of the THQ Nordic Bundle, then make sure to share and like the video and I will actually pull all that information together. There will be a actual entry form that I'll be able to show to you guys very soon and you should be able to enter for it. So it'll be in the comments underneath the videos to show you ways of how to actually, multiple ways to enter so you can enter with the most chances you can possibly get to win the prize. But speaking of the games that we're actually going to be playing today, this, like I said, is Locke's Quest. I do not know much about Locke's Quest other than it is an RPG and it's got mechanics and it's got a bit of a steampunky vibe to it. And I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Let's, let's go and check out the machine. Okay. I actually really like the art style. That looks pretty damn cool. What have we got to see? Come on. It's like, it's anticipation before the actual game properly starts up. I always hate it. This game supports an auto save feature. Please do not turn off your PlayStation 4. Okay, obviously. I don't think, is there any reason why to actually warn people about that now? You are very loud. You are very, very, very loud. You are loud, 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 loud. I am realizing I do not have controls. There we go. Oi. Wow. Well done, Lost Quest. You actually blew my ears off for a second. And I'm pretty sure to everybody who is watching the video as well. My apologies. So, new game, options. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, ba -ba, settings. I, I always take a look at settings and see what kind of stuff they actually show for us. Uh, we can turn that off. Language, difficulty, normal, blah, blah, blah. All the basics, all the simple things that we need to not worry, really worry about. We'll probably get taught the controls fairly soon. Build mode, battle mode. Okay, okay, so there's actually two sizes. Hmm. Why does it say whenever it says defense mode, I've got a feeling that this is like a tower defense game? Uh, we know three constants our king, source, and the archineer. Archineer? Oh, that's actually an architect? Source is a resource tied to a place beyond our knowledge. Archineers use source to build our world. The greatest of the Archineers was Agonius. He was the architect of our nation. He was determined to unlock the mystery behind source and use it to create life. Okay. So since you've got a story of a guy who tried to make golems and then end up probably ruining the world. He knew the dangers of a desire. He desire, demanded that he would stop. Infuriated Argonius refused and was banished from the nation. Yet still he worked on his thingies and nobody could really stop him. More, Lord Agony <laughs> created a clockwork army. Okay, so that's who our villains are. The villain is Lord Agony and his clockwork army. I can get on board with that. So, I'd love this as if there was actually almost like a Mega Man-esque kind of game. The last digit assault was launched into the heart of the Clockwork Nation, and it failed miserably. Several Arcaneers broke through the lines and stormed Agony's Fortress. It is unknown how they defeated Agony. There was an explosion, and then the war ended. There has been years of peace punctured by an occasional whisper of agony reborn. Well, that's every single time somebody bangs their knee. These whispers reach an unlikely place. The ears of a young boy called Locke. Hmm. Owned a young man fated to change the world. Ooh, shiny. 
Awesome. It's a old school isometric kind of like RPG. I am on board with this. Look, I have a task for you. Oh man, not another. No, listen, this is important. Seawater has been flooding the crops. I want you to build a retaining wall near the coast. Me? Really? Yes, I think you're ready to use the skills I've taught you. Woohoo! Oh, and take your sister with you. She's been following me around all day. Okay, Gramps. Talk to Emmy. Emmy. Whatever it is. EMI Records! We're gonna get a record deal! Alright. The movement's a bit weird. Feels a bit floaty movement a little bit. It's just the fact that I'm used to these kind of games only moving like in up, down, left, right, not diagonals. EMI Records! Graham sent me to fix up, uh, fix up the seawall near the beach. Oh, can I come too? Yep, you gotta come with me. Don't get all in the way. Okay. Since when do I ever get in the way? Yes, you're a little sister. Your job is to be in the way or to get kidnapped. We will see which happens first. Soldier, do you have anything to report? Not yet, our men are positioned around the village. Strange. The chief engineer was certain we would find some veneer. So, obviously, the town gets attacked. Locke has to run off on a quest. This is going to be interesting. I'm loving the design of this. It does remind me a lot of uh, an RPG Maker game, though. Um, just a very, very elaborate one, essentially. Clockworks, here! So, run! So, I want to know what the combat works out as. I want to see what the actual mechanics are. I'm going to try and skip through the rest of this kind of like opening storyline just so we can get to something that's actually. Um, Controlled, which is the most important thing. The, the biggest problem with doing a cold open is that I kind of try and keep to this 15 minutes of gameplay. And as much as this is pretty and the story is interesting, this is something that I would actually kind of like, I would draw my time out playing and enjoying. But uh, I have to actually try and get to the mechanics as fast as possible to try and show you guys a little bit of how it's played. And on the chat, do we have Luminous Beast, what are you saying? Yes, Daryl, I'm actually Irish. Well, we need to get this done. It's getting dark. Day one, build. Buildy, buildy, build. What do we need to build? Yes, welcome to build mode. Placing walls on the foundation of your defenses. This is a one-by-one -one wall piece. Press X to spawn and place the wall in the blue outline. L2, R2 to rotate walls. Press X to set the wall in place. Okay, so... Do we not just go here? Boom. Boom. Problem solved. All right. So we actually. So literally, it's actually given us the opportunity. Oh, wait. Do I have to actually? All oh, right. Uh, that's what I need to do. If I can do this, place that in. If I go here, that'll be a three wall piece, and that goes in there. Yay! Four pieces. All right, show me how you actually build the wall defenses. Woo! So, uh, circle, yep, yeah, that's okay. Can remove it, press and circle. Boop. Day one, a success! Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think the main dude should have a lisp, Luminous. You're exactly right. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Does he look lispy? Because to be honest, he looks like he was actually drawn by, um, what do you call him? The guy that does control alt delete. That should do it. Yeah, until it starts leaking. Maybe I should, should build a retaining wall around you, Amy. So, basically the mechanics for the build is, uh, we've got a list of actual parts that we'd be using for walls. And I'm assuming with defense, I have to actually stop them from knocking down these walls. Get away from here! 
Okay, so at least we're going to get into combat now. Yes, all right, let's see what the combat method is. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Moving on. Moving on up. Moving on now. Man, to get ready. Nothing can stop me. God damn it, you little automatons. Let's go. What are those? Stay back. The abominations are clockworks. I made an armor of gears and cogs, not a shred of humanity inside them. You're in no condition to fight. I'll handle this. Wait, what? Alright, so now I need to build... Oh! So it really is a base defense kind of thing? Okay, I can get on board with that. Yeah, where are your surroundings? Where are the dead landscape these locations include? And to get where are right. Oh, so you actually put them around the outside of that. Boom. We build a turret right here. Damn, that's actually a brig glass turret. All right. Well, it's going to be like 45 minutes that you do this. <laughs> All right. So build a wall. Oh, right, so by building turrets a couple of bits apart, it actually increases their strength. Ah, nice. Okay. So. What? Serious? Won't let me add any more? Fine. Right. Knowing when to buy, engage in battle and retreat in battle are vital to survival. Hey, shit heal. <laughs> whoop whoop. All right. So, how do I start harvest? Ah, right. All right, cool. So it's actually like flicking back and forth between them. Makes sense. So it kind of keeps the, um, the it keeps you act actively involved in the actual repairs. So you actually just like flick, 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 flick to do each one of them. And the combat seems simple enough. It's essentially go over strike X um, using the amount of sources you have to build, the turrets that you need to require. And get on board with this. So essentially it's strategic uh, strategic planning. So you said you want to encircle your enemies as much as you can before you start and then actually start beating them down with whatever equipment and weapons that you have while running around behind your own defenses to recover between turns. I'm not, I'm not sure if there would actually be um, other characters that you have to play as because this is Locke's quest. But I like the design. That's actually pretty cool. I could get on board with that. So, of course, Locke has no idea what's going on. Go and run off, join the adventure, find out what people are doing, and, of course, find out that he is going to be the chosen one to save the world. Which is usually the plot for one of these. Alright, so, build days. Okay. Defend mark locations. Okay, so you're actually on a larger world map. So, essentially, I'm just going to build a wall, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, that's not what I need to do.
So that's the only location I need to worry about. So I'm just literally going to build walls all around it. And just build as many turrets as I possibly can. So where are the enemies actually spawning in from in here? That's what I'm curious about. I've got two minutes to do this before. And I'm trying to figure out where the enemy are going to be coming from. Ah, okay, that's where they're going to be coming from. Okay, gotcha. So let's build some walls. Yeah! Am I all out of stuff? Damn. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, well, well. Oh, it increases in price per turret that I've got? That's crazy. Well, there we go. That's the plan made. I'm pretty sure this is all I got. Are they coming from over there? Keep on punching, keep on punching. <laughs> oh no, stop punching my stuff. Go down! Boom! Sorted. <laughs> Easily done. Fuck you, guy. So I have to survive a certain amount of time in combat, which is pretty cool. I like that idea. Gotcha. That's you dead, man. <laughs> right. Survival of day one. <laughs> Completed. So yeah, the um, the game actually is quite enjoyable. I, I like the basic mechanics of it. Uh, I can imagine this being so, so... Oh, why are they breaking down? Oh, because they only can survive for so long. So, I could really... I could really get into doing this because of the resource management that's basically involved and building a solution to actually how many enemies are going to be swarming after you while also involving yourself in the attacks as well. Uh, anything that actually does that multiple ways of play... It always, it's the reason why I actually got really into Dragon Commander a while back, because it was actually like four different games all in one. You had like your RTS, you kind of had your flying battle game, and then you had your card battling included on top of it. So by having a basic action RPG, you can jump in and attack while also having the base building. I can, I can get into this. This, the, this is actually the kind of building and immediate enjoyment you get from uh, something like, oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another kind of like turn-based or action-based game that kind of had this strategic planning. I mean... I suppose uh, XCOM's kind of like that, but it's more squad based. Same thing with uh, Valkyria Chronicles. I can't think of one that really off the top of my head. If you guys can think of an example that's actually does this kind of game really well, I'd like to hear about it because I'm just trying to think of anything that's actually 
reasonably concurrent recent that I can actually think of that actually plays exact that plays similar to this. Other than the a typical base de a tower defense game. I think I mean that's what you're doing. You're building tower defense, but you're involving yourself in it. But and there was a few games that actually did that. I think Defense Grid was pretty much like that, where you had to build corridors and funnel enemies through. Um, it was reasonably well built. But the, this looks this. I like the artwork in this. I like the style. The music is quite enjoyable. The um, obviously there's a larger, deeper story here to be found, and I'm looking forward to actually checking out a little bit further. But um, for our first episode, for our first 15, I think we're pretty much recovered and done. Guys, if you actually enjoyed looking at Locke's quest, uh, thank you very much for actually watching. And uh, I would like, if you liked me talking about it, you liked to see the gameplay that I showed, then make sure to hit the like button on the video and share the video around. And if you actually feel like it and you want to see more stuff like this, you can always hit the subscribe button that's sitting right up there. And if you don't do the subscribe thing, I completely understand not everybody is actually into subscribing to channels. All you have to do is remember, pass dish of skin. Right there, all you have to do is type it into Google, search for it. I'm not trying to hide it. It's easy to find me. I'm not anywhere hidden into the dark corners of the internet. I'm right here in public. You can easily find me. And, oh, yeah, one more thing. If you're watching this on YouTube, there we go. Up there, up top, will be actually the button for subscribing. Over here will be a playlist of uh, games, cold opens, that I've actually done here on the channel. Over in the far corner, way over there, will actually be the most recent episode on the channel. And over here will be a video for you based on YouTube analytics, all the things that you search for, all the things you watch on YouTube, there will be a video right here based on your tastes and interests. So instead of like waiting for the next of this video to end and going anywhere else, just click that button. Click there. That'll be the next video you should watch because it's something that, well, YouTube knows you'll enjoy. I don't know if you'll enjoy, but um, I really hope you do. And I hope you come back to the channel and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.